Okay, so we're on challenge slide three, and you can see if I launch this again, I just get this one star, right? I also am thinking, well, it'd be really nice, right? This is my wishful thinking. If I had a kind of, maybe like a ramp here, kind of a rampish shape, like a parabola, but maybe open more on this side, right? So with that shape in mind, I'm thinking, how can I do that? With these kind of problems, it's good to have a reference point or a parent function. y equals 2 to the x is a really good way for me to think about what the possibilities are. I noticed that this exponential function is kind of like part of the ramp that I want, except I want to flatten it out a little bit. And to flatten it out, that just means I want to lower the rate at which it's increasing. How can I do that? I can mess around with the base. What should I make the base equal to? I'm not sure, so I'm going to type in a letter. You know what, I'm going to use the letter B for base. And then I click the slider, and now I can mess around with it. Ooh, that's kind of interesting, right? I can mess around with it until I get something that I want to use. And I kind of like that right there. And if I launch it now, well, it's not going to work, right? I need some way to get the ramp to come down before it comes back up. And I've already got this beautiful function right here. Instead of typing a new one, what could I do? How could I get the same kind of ramp, but reflected over the y-axis? Well, what I can do is paste this, copy, paste, and reflect it. How? Well, you just need a negative sign to reflect it. Put a negative sign somewhere in here, and then move the function around to get what you want. If putting the negative sign in uh, doesn't do it, if that's not enough, right, if it gets you stuck, because this b is tied to this b right here, change the letter to a different uh, variable, get a different slider, and that'll give you some flexibility. So now you could put in c is at 1, I'm going to drag it up to 1.2, I can put negative signs in different places to see how it reflects and I'll get something that works. If that doesn't work straight away, add to it. Maybe add after it and see if that helps you. If that doesn't work, well, you can also add and subtract to the exponent. Just remember to put parentheses there until you get something that works. All right, hope that helped.